Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. And I tell you about a situation that I sometimes find myself in, and that is when I'm going to either borrow or loan money and I need to figure out the interest rate. And what I typically do actually is I, I do it the lazy way. I just open up my, my calculator. Let's say it's a $10,000, whoops, $10,000 uh, loan and it's 2% uh, interest, so I might just do multiply times 1.02, and then I'll just hit the equal button 10 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? And that will give me some sort of value. The problem with doing it this way is, first of all, that's not the way banks typically work. It's not like you have a, an interest rate and then they're calculating it at the end of every year. Typically, it's at the end of every quarter or the end of every month, and then it's compounded. So this value that I just generated here, it won't be accurate for that reason. And then another problem is sometimes I may uh, hit the equal button too many times or make a typing mistake. So this is not the ideal way to do it. But you can do something else in Google Sheets and that is use a really handy formula. And it's called uh, future value, FV uh, parentheses, equal FV parentheses. In the parentheses are these four um, values that you stick in there. And it may look kind of intimidating seeing all these weird letters and stuff like that, but actually it's quite easy to understand and I'll just go through it quickly. So the first argument is rate. That's the interest rate for the period. Now, keep in mind, it could be the interest rate for a month or a quarter or a year. N per is the number of periods. It could be months, quarters, years, etc. PV is the present value or the principal. So let's say a $10,000 loan. Uh, you, have to, you have to put a negative, uh, a negative number in front of it, a ne sorry, a negative symbol in front of it because it's a deposit. So you're giving the money out and at the end you'll get money back. PMT will be zero because you're not adding any payments to the certificate of deposit during that particular period. So here's how we would do yield for a $10,000 five-year CD at 2% interest compounded monthly. Okay, it's a five-year CD. So I'm just gonna copy this over and then we can go over what it is. Uh, actually, one thing we can go over right now Notice that the first argument here, it's actually 0 0.02. So that's the 2% interest. And then divided by 12 because it's monthly, not yearly. And then here, it's a five-year CD. See that? But then I multiply it by 12 because it's, it'll be 60 months. So I have to either type 60 or I can do five times 12. Zero, there's no additional payments. And then negative 10,000, that's the money that's going out to fund the CD. All right, let's try it out. Uh, we are going to Google Sheets. Okay, so here I'm just going to have the raw data here and get rid of that. Okay, so this is this is the formula I'm using, and this is the actual value. I'm just going to paste that in, and then get rid of that. And you can see it calculated. So this is I'm going to get back eleven thousand fifty dollars and seventy nine cents at the end of the period. So that's really great. It figured out the compound interest and everything. Now another thing you can do is you can do things like change the value. So like let's say instead of uh, 10,000 it's 20,000 or it's 30,000 or it's even $100,000. Okay, let's just change that to dollars. All right, uh, now I could start typing out the formula the long way, but let's make this a little bit easier on everybody. I'm going to type in negative, actually, I don't even need to do negative. It's going to be cell C3. I'm just going to copy that over. Oops. Okay, that's what I'm doing, and this is the result. Sorry about the formatting, it looks a little messed up, but it's going to be 22,101 if I start with $20,000. And then I can just use autofill and just calculate the other ones right away 33,000, 110,000 for that particular interest rate. And again, I could also do things like I could alter the interest rate. So instead of um, 0.2, I could make it 3%. Oh, actually I have to do it here. Oops. You can see it goes up and then I can recalculate these just by doing autofill. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Sheets, Drive Docs and Slides, I have a book about this as well as some cheat sheets, which are quick references you can just have right on your desktop. Go to in30minutes.com to uh, learn more. And thank you so much for listening.